Dear students, in this screencast video lecture, we are going to see the explanation for the lectures of Unit 5. The Unit 5 is entirely devoted to studies about the mutation. That is, what is mutation? What are its types? What is the mechanism in which a mutation is caused? And how the mutation is repaired there in the living organism? Now, we look at the definition for mutation. It refers to a sudden heritable change in the nucleotide sequences of an organism's genome that gives rise to alternative forms for any genome. So, this is called as a mutation. So, the term mutation is coined by a scientist named Hugo Duveris. The process by which this mutation is effected in an organism is called as a mutagenesis. In a broader sense, mutation includes all types of heritable genetic changes that cannot be explained by normal genetic mechanism that is by recombination of a pre-existing genetic variability. Sometimes the gene mutation can happen there in the nucleotide level that involves substitution of one base pair for another or deletion or addition of a single base pair which is commonly described as a point mutation. Now, we look at the general characteristic features of the mutation. Mutations are generally recessive, but dominant mutation can also occur in the living organism. Mutations are generally harmful to the organisms. Mutation can occur random, that is, at any time and in any cell of an organism. Usually, mutations are recurrent in nature, that is, same mutation can occur again and again in an organism. The next part is related to the role of mutation in the organism. Mutations serve as an ultimate source of genetic variation. That is, mutation serves as a genetic material for the process of evolution to occur there in the organisms. Mutation results in the formation of alleles. That is, without mutation, most of the genes will be present only in a single form. And the last point is, mutation is the one which makes the organisms to evolve and adapt to the constant environmental changes that occurs in the environment. The next point is related to what is the effect of mutations on the cells. It depends upon what type of cell in which the mutation occurs. For example, when mutation occurs in germline cells, that is gametes, that includes the sperm cells and ova cells, it is passed on to the subsequent generations since they serve as a part of the hereditary traits that have been housed inside the gametes. So, thus the mutation caused in one generation may be passed on to the next generation. Whereas, if the mutations are occurring in the somatic cell lines, that is mainly on the other cells, that is cells other than the gametes, they may not be passed to the other generation. However, the somatic mutation may have a drastic effects there on the individual organism. Consider the example of the mutant lung cell. If a lung cell has got mutant and it starts dividing, all the cells that have been derived from the mutant lung cells will be carrying that particular mutation. What is mutagen? Any kind of a agent that leads to increase in the frequency of occurrence of the mutation can be referred as a mutagen. Now, we look at what are the ways in which the mutation can able to occur. It can occur naturally as a spontaneous mutation or it can be induced which is referred as a induced mutation. First, we look at the points related to the spontaneous mutation. Those mutations occurs without human intervention that is they occur naturally. What are the ways in which they can occur? They can occur through errors in DNA replication, spontaneous lesions and transposition that can be caused by transposable genetic elements insertion there into the genome. Sometimes the spontaneous mutation could be resulted by exposure to natural radiations like cosmic rays, especially the components of cosmic rays that is UV light and X-rays which can able to alter the structure of bases there in the nucleotide. Since these agents are the part of a natural environment, say sunlight is the one in which you can able to get a lot of UV there. So, when we are exposed to sunlight, then automatically an UV induced mutation could be resulted. 
This is some of the reason behind the formation of skin cancer there in the patients. Apart from spontaneous mutations, the other form of mutation is induced mutations. This mutation occurs with the intervention of humans, that is by subjecting to physical mutagens such as ionizing radiation, non-ionizing radiation like UV, use of certain kind of chemical mutagens, even sometimes the biological agents were also serving as a mutagens. You will see the explanation of the, all these different types in the subsequent screencast lecture.